What's up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we're taking a look at the patch notes for March 20th. Just a couple of events going on this week, a few tweaks with some things, not a lot of major stuff, uh, but the events are interesting, especially one in particular. Uh, and then of course we've got a lot of stuff going to the Pearl Shop, which is kind of par for the course there. Let's first jump on in over to the events, just to update on the uh, Obtain Lightstone of Fire, the guild uh, league um, event that's going on. They just updated what the rankings are. There wasn't actually any changes to it. Uh, we've got Old Moon Guild's lesson support. Everything's teaching and new semesters and whatever is the theme going on right now. This is just going to be a login challenge. You're getting extra stuff, Book of Florin, uh, Premium Elixir Box, and then each of these per specific days, particular days, specific days, I tried to combine the words into one word. It's two different words. Um, you're going to get different login rewards. Old Moon Fortune Scrolls, Supreme Old Moon Scrolls, some Mariah Cronstones over the weekend and, and into Monday. Um, just being logged in uh, those specific days so look out for those and then here's the event that looks uh, actually really cool um, so this is gathering unknown ore. you can get this through monster hunting or mining so grinding or just straight up mining uh, you're going to get these unknown ore event items uh, throughout doing that and you can do a once per family quest where you're going to turn in 20 of these and you can get your choice of any of the ultimate crystals uh, that you want or uh, Voltara's Awakened Spirit or Black Spirit Crystals to make uh, Rebellious Crystals. So just one. You get to choose one out of this uh, that you need. So if you broke something, I, I, I'm going to just throw this out there. Crystal of Harmony, if you're doing your boss Black Shrines, are an inevitability and you will obtain these um, likely much easier. The Rebellious Spirit Crystals, you have to run through the quest line of Comisilia. That's actually pretty time consuming. Um, so you're probably better off unless on your server these are just sitting on the market uh, going with whatever pieces you need to make like backup rebellious crystals instead. Um, so if you break them, you can easily replace those. Uh, it might be different on each server. So maybe just pay attention to that for your guaranteed one. But I think for most people, you probably, unless you're fairly new, you probably have a large stack of Crystal of Harmonies or at least some stack of Crystal of Harmonies on top. And you can probably replace your Macalods or Hooms or whatever if they break. And you're rebellious, you might be sitting on a pre-order for an item or having to do a Comisilia quest line, which is going to take you several hours. So just just think about that before you choose your guaranteed one. If you happen to choose the wrong one, maybe you'll get lucky because you can also turn in the rest of the unknown ore to get 100% guarantee on Trace of Savagery, some Platinum Ore, and Rough Stones. And then at a set probability, not only can you get the Crystal of Harmony upgraded crystals or the Rebellious Spirit ingredients, you can also have a chance at getting a Strike Lightstone, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, grind your faces off or mine your faces off, whatever the case may be, and see if you can uh, pick up some of those extras. Um, personally, I have several strike stones, so those are going to be cashing out five bill for me. Moving into content updates, there's just some class tweaks, a little issue fixes, nothing in there. It's actually kind of interesting. They, they started noting these more so just in the class setup separately from um, like the footnotes at the bottom. I think that's actually a better setup in general. We'll see that they continue to do that. Uh, actual updates happening. These actually got fast tracked from the uh, the global labs last friday which we haven't seen for na servers in quite a while but i'm not upset about it so a couple of changes they simplified the bonus quests for uh, cooking there used to be nine different ones you could get now there's one they just changed this last friday on global labs uh, and it got pushed to um, all live servers the next wednesday which is awesome uh, so that's been uh, uh, changed for us and then the other one that also happened on global labs was the unintended byproduct changes so they changed the unintended products that uh, you obtain while performing alchemy and residences so there's an increased obtain probability on the sturdy alchemy stones, Caphras and Cron stones. Uh, then you have newly obtainable uh, plywood hardener, leather glaze, and mystical spirit powders. And then no longer obtainable is golden backpack, Yona fragment, and gold bars and Caphras stones from there. Uh, so a couple of tweaks and adjustments that got fast tracked. This was also noted on the global labs. You still have two weeks to do it. Um, so maybe knock out some of the better ones. What is it? It's the uh, daily and weekly boss summon scrolls. These are being removed from the game in its entirety. They're still here now, but in two weeks they won't be. And they're going to be converted to uh, silver based on their value if you still have them in. So some of these, like the Sonal Siege Captain Scrolls or whatever, if you have some of the like really nice ones left, you may want to go ahead and get your buddies together, whoever's got them left, and run those over the next two weeks uh, before they're gone. I They don't note how much silver, but I can tell you it's probably going to be like a stupid amount like a hundred thousand silver per scroll or ten thousand silver per scroll something where like just run them the good ones anyways the ones that suck and take forever like just ignore it um knock them out get them done and then we can all forget about daily scrolls because i haven't collected one in probably two years now 
So there's that. Uh, change a couple of updates on Igor Bartali's adventures, just making them a little bit easier instead of like defeating Mogulister's brother or using a scroll to deal with the witch. You're just going to kill a green orc skeleton that spawns with the witch, some saucins or some bandits, uh, respectively, on those. Uh, we have a com change to the complete now function for workshops. This might, although I don't know the... Uh, math on the money amount because I haven't done it for forest path wagon but this might have some impacts for other items like the forest path wagon where you have like really long times for workshop functions instead of these being pearls it's now silver and the amount of silver is based on the amount of time that it takes oh these get pretty expensive it's probably not worth on forest path wagon but I don't know how much time they take I've never made one just had a pre-order one for uh, like a decade uh, anyways, so you can now do that instead of pearls. Obviously, in-game silver is going to be better for pearls in every single scenario that that's an option. Uh, we had a, a monster added to the Star's End Towers. This is the Sinful Apostle of Immortality uh, that has been implemented in. He chants a powerful spell to destroy the Vessel of Inquisition. He's got Frontal Guard, so you got to jump behind him to kill him. It doesn't say anything about the loot there, so kind of interesting implementation mount updates the essentially tiers one through five have been removed from the game functionally breeding any set amount of uh horses from six or up is always going to yield at base a six um the shortest way of looking at this is as we've implemented the baseline horse to just be t6 which makes sense since catching a wild horse is t6 these days uh some ui updates web fixes yada yada the usual on that so let's jump over to the pearl shop see what we got going on and first up is a new costume this is the elderwood um, listen, this looks cool, but also, is this not the same or extremely similar to, like, most male armor? Or maybe it's, like, striker-specific. I just feel like, uh, off the top of my head, I've seen this armor or extremely similar to this same, uh, armor before. But maybe I'm wrong. I also don't play male characters because boobs, so... So there's that. Anyways, if you want a double pack of them, you can get it at 10% off for two of those. It's 39.60 pearls. And then you're going to see all sorts of outfits that are more limited time offer ones, ones that come around certain times a year. Uh, they've been doing this the last couple of weeks, but they're really trying to give you more access to these limited outfits. Uh, so we've got the springtime premium armor set at 76.50 pearls. And you select three from the list below. This is Asa uh, Cerberi, Excladis, Raksh, uh, Rakshasa, Sakaruga, Derictus, Lord uh, Red, Gold Scale, Dragoon, Tantu set, and White Viper. Uh, all male sets there you set up. We have the Seasonless Outfit Pack 2, 49.50 pearls, so 25% discount on this one. And your options here, you're going to pick three of them. Tiger Emissary, Oblivion, Bloody Outfit, Coco, uh, Snowflake, Sugar Rush, Frostbite, Crayotel, and Jolly Winter Dream Outfit. You'll find that most of these are also available individually. Oblivion Outfit Box at 1980 Pearls. Tiger Emissaries at 1980. Same price if you want to do Crimson Shadow, the Crimson Knight, the Coco or El Pento, the Bloody Outfit Box, Sugar Rush, Snowflake, Frostbite, Crayotol, Jolly Winter, and then we finally get to other things that are not limited time offer outfits. So first up we have the Project Outfit Research. 13,600 Pearls. It's a bundle of five. Uh, premium outfits and then a 10% uh, apparel discount coupon is 20% off. Uh, not super amazing coming off the back of uh, some of the larger sales we've had on giant costume bundles the last couple of weeks, but is what it is. Homework outfit research, 5780 pearls. Uh, this is just two premium outfit boxes. The Valk strategy lecture is 2118 pearls. It's got 100 artisans, 300 crons, a 70 stack, 60 stack, 40 Valk's cry, and 60 memory fragments to go along with it. We've got Laura's beginner advanced class. Uh, it's 1995 pearls. Uh, it's got two maids in it, and then you're going to choose one uh, from the list of either inventory expansion or storage slot expansion for various areas. It's got five Lords Black Tea, uh, five Beast Trap, five Item Drop Scrolls, and two Simple Cron Meals. We've got the Fresh Start Training Packs, 2450 Pearls. It's got the Permanent Celestial Calling Horn, Mount Brand Spellstone, and three Mount Skill Change Coupons. Then we have just the Bundle Pack. Uh, it's really the Cronstone Bundle Pack plus Artisans, I guess. But the Bundle Pack is 3669 Pearls. It's got three Mystical Cronstone Bundles, three Rare Cronstone Bundles, three Mystical Artisan Memory Bundles, and then a bonus of just 300 Crons. That's five purchases per family if you're looking for that. We've got an RNG Pouch, uh, 2286 Pearls, that comes with three of them. The Black Tiger, Azure Dragon, and Rabbit RNG Pouches. Not a fan of RNG Pouches, but you do you. We got a mystery outfit box for 1300 pearls, and it also comes with a mystical cronstone uh, bundle. The mystery outfit box, just to see the percentages on what we're looking at here, you have a 0.5% of getting 10 premium outfits on the on the upper end. On the bottom end, you're looking at 250 cronstones or uh, 35 artisans. Uh, these are your two most likely scenarios from that, and then other assortments of either classic 
uh, or premium outfits. So, you know, RNG again, you do you. Four plus one on the mystery outfit box of 5,200 pearls will get you five sets of those and four mystical cronstone bundles. Then you have a 100 pearl only purchase. And instead of making this once per day, it's 10 purchases per family. 100 uh, pearls will get you 50 cronstone. So times 10 and you get it's going to cost you 1,000 pearls to yield you 500 cronstones. So there you go. You can jump on in and you don't have to wait two weeks to get dailies for it. We've got a 100 pearl tiers of the wind and also 100 pearls for four uh, tiers of the star items. We've got 100 pearls on the Mount Growth Pack, which has a 10, mount, 10 hour Mount XP scroll, two Coursers Aura, and two Celerity Drafts. We have a two X2. Uh, one day blessing a comma so two day blessing a comma for 100 pearls same deal with the book of moon and black spirit essence uh, we also have 100 pearl city storage expansion for your choice of which city you want to expand the storage so there you have it for this week's pearl shop and patch notes let me know what you think about what's going on in the comments down below if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos go live and if you'd like to catch me playing live there's a link to my twitch page in the description down below jump on over there drop a follow so you get notifications for that as well with that said that's going to be it for this one I want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time hey.